Alright everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Fallout 3 and I wanted to cover this mod called JIP Companions Command and Control mostly because um, I was thinking about making a follower myself and I wanted to look up how to make a patch to make my follower compatible with this and then, excuse that, I went into the comment section and I was seeing all these comments about people saying that it does not work and that, you know, it needs an update and can somebody do a revamp and things like that and no it doesn't need any of that this mod works it's complete it's perfectly fine it's it's bug free i've been using this for a long time okay so this mod is not going to allow you to recruit multiple companions you have to use another mod for that what this is going to do is it's going to be kind of like a quality of life change like it's going to allow you to command command followers and um assign them to do things without directly talking to them so i could remotely tell my followers to w to wait i could remotely tell them to go pick something up or i can actually uh engage in a conversation with them without actually going right up in their face and talking to them so it'll tell you right here you know all the different things that you can do you can have them um unlock and you know hack terminals and doors and things like that you could tell them to switch to melee and range weapon you can use one of your stim packs to um to heal one of your companions remotely and things like that so i'm going to just go in game real quick and i'm just going to try to explain to you the controls the best that i can so here we are in game i'm going to show you how this works to get started the first thing you want to do is you want to hold down the shift key and the c key and then it's going to pop up this menu now from here you can choose your different controls like hot keys and things like that so you can also go to command interface section which is going to determine you know um if you want the menu to be displayed all the time if you want it to only pop up when it's displayed if you want it to pop up when you're in combat you know kind of like an immersive hood type of thing so right now i have it currently set so that it only pops up in combat but i'm going to switch it so that it's always on so i could better show off this mod okay so avatar bar properties this is basically where the the companions um heads up display is going to be and you could basically choose you know where you want it to be positioned so right now i have it all the way on the left side of the screen that's the way i want it and then i'm just going to come back to return now there's some miscellaneous section over here um tutorial mode things like that you can mess around with that and um that's pretty much it for the settings okay so as you can see there goes my companion brisa on the left and it says f by her face because she's currently in follow mode which means that she's currently following me now i do have two other companions with me but they're currently not compatible with jip so they don't have a hood okay so all of the vanilla companions will work with this mod fine brisa has a patch which allows her to work with this mod so i'm just going to be using her so what this, going, what this is going to do is it's going to let you give your companions commands remotely. So, for example, I can hold C. And without even going to Brisa, I could tell her to, to wait. Right. And I don't even have to tell her to wait. I could do it again. All right. And now she'll start following me. So, I hold down C and you use the mouse wheel to, to move up and down. And then you click in the mouse wheel to, to make your selection. So I'm going to say follow, right. wait, things All like right. that. Um, you can choose to, you know, if you want them to be close to you, if you want them to be f further from okay. you. Okay. You could tell them to switch from range to melee if you want. Passive, aggressive. And you could also go to open inventory. Now, for things like open inventory and... Um, and remote talking you have to be kind of close to them so it's not really that useful in this mod but you can do it so right here i'm gonna say start conversation yes and now i don't i don't even have to go up to her to you know talk to her so that was it i could do something else like this let me see for example let me grab something let me drop this buff out on the ground and so where is it where did it go okay so right here i could hold c and then I could basically tell her to loot and I put my cursor over the marker and I click in the mouse wheel. 
and she will pick it up remotely okay now you can tell her to do this with lock picking hacking and disarming terminals um you could do this if there's an at a target somewhere you could tell the tell her to attack them um and here's the stim pack you could remotely use your stim pack it'll use the stim pack from your inventory not the companion's inventory so the red bar on the side of her face right here is her health bar so you can see she's missing just a little bit of health so i'm gonna hold c mm -hmm. I'm going to use the scroll wheel to make my selection over here. Highlight use stem pack and I'm going to click in the mouse wheel. And as you can see, now she healed up. So that's pretty good if you see your companions about to go down, you just hold C and then you give them, you know, a stem pack. And uh what else does this thing do? And you could tell them, you know, move over here remotely. She should go over there. Move, stand guard here. Right. Go ahead. Now she'll stand guard there. Go over here. I think this one takes a little bit of time to load. Oh, you have to double click it. All right. So it'll show the highlighter first, and then you click it again. Then she'll move to that location. So yeah, you can remotely give her commands. All right. So this mod is good. Everybody says that it doesn't work, but it actually does work, okay? And it has a G by her face now because she's standing guard. So if I want her to follow me again, just scroll back up, All come right. back to follow. All right, and now she's following me again. So this mod is beautiful. It's really good. It's not going to allow you to use multiple companions. You got to use another mod for that. But it will support multiple companions. It will support up to 12, and it could have up to 8. Um, faces on the side of your screen at a time okay so yeah that's it try this mod it's not broken it's perfectly fine stop using vortex stop using nexus mod manager and please use mod organizer too it is the best mod organizer no question i want to give a big shout out to my patreon supporters red t basco cordello Sigaru nikita spino senpai Izugoki Games and Delphi Castello. Thank you so much.